Robin is a very successful woman. She doesn't need me for a damn thing. She's entrepreneurial. She, what? I want you. Yeah, thank you. So you're superfluous then. <laughs> What's that? So you're superfluous then. She How does you. that make no. me superfluous? You're nice to have around. She meant, I think you meant financially, not emotionally, not spiritually, yeah. not it, connectively. You yeah. can't think of relationships yeah. beyond control and, and no. ownership yeah. and power. No, wait a minute. It's not let, about no, that. Let me it's not ask, about that, not me, about that let, at all. The fact that she doesn't have to have me to exist doesn't mean that I'm not essential to who she is. We've been together for 46 years. She doesn't need me to buy her a new car. She doesn't need me to buy her a house. She doesn't need me to do the things she's competent. She could, if she wants to go to Hong Kong tomorrow, she doesn't need me to make the arrangements. But I am a part of her DNA. I'm part of her life. If I was missing, it would be a huge impact on her. That's why I'm not superfluous. You can't be that narrow-minded. What I'm saying is that she does, you just said a minute ago that she doesn't need you, that she doesn't need you for, your ex for her existence. Financially, that's all you Is meant. it a financial thing? Or is it yes. a personal thing? That's all. No, there, there are so many dimensions to a relationship and I, I will stay with what I said. She doesn't need me. If I die today, she will be fine. Financially. Emotionally. No, I she disagree. She will be fine. She will but not be she, fine. But... but she wants me to be in her life. And I want her to be emotionally strong enough, mentally strong enough, financially planned out enough that I don't have to be there for her to be okay. You, you can't wrap your head around that? So she that? doesn't need you. Is that what you're saying? You interrupted him so you could be right. How am I he wrong? He wasn't finished. How, how am I wrong about your relationship here? He's you just saying him. that he do, you don't, he, you won't, what, you'll what be fine without point? him. But what is your point, Rolo? My point is this, is that we've made masculinity superfluous right now. We've made men superfluous right now. How is she right not now. in your same story? How is she not superfluous to him in the same story? You, exactly. Well, that's the, that's the hmm. point. We are better together than we are apart. Well, then we are innate and natural compliments to one another. Would you agree that with that? That does not make us superfluous. I feel like we're a bit stuck because I feel like, what we're saying is that unless there's a dependency relationship, unless one person is dependent on the other, then, they're, then one of them is superfluous. Whereas what I see is a world where two people who are independent choose to be together, and that's more beautiful. It's more beautiful and moving to me when two it's people who don't... It's healthier and who, who, safer. Yeah. And they what, want, happens, and they what want, happens in that... It's okay. safe. Isn't choice more beautiful than need? It's safe, too. And, and here's the thing, like, there is a lesson here for parents around the country who are watching all of this, who are thinking, well, I'm trying to raise kids right now. It's a tough world out there, and we're all trying to get by, and there are lots of voices. The, the first thing is that we are now in an even tougher battle because social media is pushing the most extreme, the most hateful voices, normalizing them in our society. There are people that want to tell you how to live your life that will actually end up with you living a really miserable life and finding it really difficult to navigate the eddies of trying to be a decent human being and trying to love another person and be loved by that person. And I think that today, I've tried to keep as quiet as possible because I thought that you spoke for yourself, Rollo, and I think a lot of parents would be thinking, crumbs, I want to make sure that that person's voice is not the one informing my kids because they could end up very, very unhappy. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.